Here I am, Leon C, a.k.a. Morpheus. You're now listening to the Academy of... Wow! Man. I just got a simple question for you today. I don't know a lot, right? I'm still learning every day. I struggle. I really do. Um... (laughs) You know, my head is always in books because I, I, I need the information and I, I'm always researching and I'm always looking for uh, a new way or a better way or ideas because, well, I, I just don't know. I don't know a lot. I know uh, enough, but I'm still learning, right? The simple things and the way the world operates. You know, there's always something new to learn and I want to learn that so I can be a better man. But I, I need your help, ladies and gentlemen. I'm I'm very I'm stumped with something. Um this is actually a really honest question. This is I don't know this. So put it on the comment box below. Um respond however you will because I, I really don't know. I'm being honest with you. I mean, I can come up with my opinions. I can come up with various reasons. Okay. So before I begin, the disclaimer is I'm not talking about gender. I'm not disputing against anybody. Wherever you believe that is your choice. I am not doing separation. This is not hate conversation. This isn't attack anyone or any persons personally, even though I know these people realistically personally, but I don't say any names or any government names and over here and I'm all about improvement and helping others and those who may be in need and whoever might reach this information might open up their eyes a little bit. That is according to every video that I have for you. Not once have I spewed hatred, not for religion, not for culture, not for age, not from position, not from whatever ideas you have. I specifically talk about the subject itself. That is always up for debate. That is a universal concept, a universal idea. That whether you choose to listen to it, your choice. Now, here's the question, ladies and gentlemen. And I need you to open up your ears because I really need you to answer this, okay? So put your put yourself in this situation, or it could be you. So you know that I am a uh, very physically active person, right? You know, I'm uh, a general at best. I'm, you know, physical trainer. I'm in health, in the health field. I'm all about spiritual growth and mental growth and, you know, financially to get your mind and your body and your home together. So lately, uh, (laughs) Some of my uh, clients and people who have chimed in, I know their life personally. Yes. I know their life personally, so I'm not going to say any names, but recently these people and others. This is the question I need you to answer, and I'm not going to delay for too long. All right. How is it that. First of all, you could. You can dress down. I mean, there's a male that I know. He dressed down. Nice shirt, nice slacks, decent shiny shoes. Even wear a decent, just a decent attire altogether. May even put on some good cologne. Whenever he goes places, that he's portraying to the world that that's who he is. But how can you do this and your house is trashy? It's a pigsty. It's a it's a trifling mess. Carpet is stinky. Clothes everywhere. Furniture all up against the wall. Trash and just food for days on the counter. Nobody and anybody would be willing to even be invited over to this guy's house. But yet he dresses himself so well to leave the home. 
The guy don't change his own oil. He does nothing for his own vehicle. And he don't have money like that. So you would think that he tried to budget. But. <laughs> and not to mention. Car as trashy as a trash bin itself. Where you get into the car. It smells like a heap of garbage. Just hits you right in the face on a hot summer day. Shoes in there. All types of leftover food. But yet he's willing to dress down for the world to see. Now, you already get my question. Why do people do this? Why? What's the point in trying to dress up and your life is a pile of shit? Why do you do that? Why do you? Why? Why can, How can a person? How? How do they have the ability? How are they washing up? I mean, to look at their houses, they don't. It's a trash heap. I would be appalled and worried what the bathroom looks like because there's trash everywhere. There's, there's clothes thrown all over the tables and, but yet they're able to dress up to leave the home. I don't get it. Maybe you can help me with this. And I know a female, a couple of them, (laughs) several, actually, I don't date them. No, absolutely. You, You already know my three companions ain't, they're not up for that. You know, they 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 clean, they take care of the home. That's their thing. They enjoy it. They enjoy even clipping some of the flowers and some uh, plants that I have out there in my backyard. You know, they enjoy what they have. But the the discussion that we having right there right now would make them disgusted. And as a matter of fact, just a thought, they're just as curious as myself. Like, why? What the hell is going on here? So the female that we've encountered, trashy car, just McDonald's, White Castle, you name it. You know, she got every fast food chain in her car. You know, she got the little wrappers, got a couple of French fries between the chairs. It's a piece of trash. No bit of rust underneath it. <laughs> it and some of you are. I'm pretty much sure some of you like, where do you find these people at? Oh, they're right before your faces. I'm explaining it right now because you'll never know unless you know them or you walk past their car and you see all kind of stuff in it because they, they like to portray something to the world, but that's up to you to, to answer. Not for me. So in her house, when I visit her house, laundry, all over in front of the washer and dryer in front of the washer and dryer again in front of her washer and dryer piled up on the floor smudges of dirt all over the place and have the nerve to have a child or two stuff was a is a hog pin Ceilings cracked. Plumbing don't work correctly. And the only place that I was comfortable to stand at is right there in front of the door to conversate. Not with six feet apart, you know, 15 feet apart because I didn't want to touch nothing. Didn't want to sit on anything. That's the same with the guy that I have that I know of. Didn't want to even touch anything. I'm tiptoeing through the house. As a matter of fact, when I left the house, I sanitized the bottom of my shoes. Because I don't know what the hell I could have stepped on in these people's houses. But then when it's time for her to leave, to go somewhere, she does the same thing. She'll dress up and put on her makeup. She'll spend two hours in a bathroom, ladies and gentlemen. Two hours for her makeup. Two hours get her hair together. She looked like a totally different person. I know this because she was a client. I know this quite well because I had to wait on her. Not for two hours, that is. Leave, take her other people, come back, and she's still not ready. 20 minutes, I'm like, wait a minute, it's been two hours. So I time everything because my time is precious. My meat is valuable. So I wonder, like, what... What what is these people thinking? Why why could she, how is she able to do that? She's able to just put on these these flashy clothing and 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 tight dressing and trainer weight trainer right 
not weight trainer, waist trainer, right? And, uh, you know, buy highs and try to make herself look as appeasing as possible. But her house has mice in it. You would you would wonder how the hell are you eating from your dishes? And the dishes are piled up. And this girl's a woman, a woman, mind you. You know, it's, it's almost as if you walk in these people's houses, if you breathe their air, you'll get sick. Because the 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 stench and the the the, the filth, you'd wonder you get. Oftentimes, I wonder if I got sick just walking in there. <laughs> it was that terrible. But yet they're able to don in classy, presentable clothes. And again, you would say, well, who are these people that you're meeting? Morpheus, who are you meeting? Where are you meeting these people? At? They are every day. All these, some of these women you think that look all good and smell all great and top notch and they call themselves boss babes. They live like that. A lot of these guys who you think are, are really pushing it, you know, they really hustling and they looking all nice, got a little dawn. They, they have a little nice dress shirt on and creased pants on and nice shoes. And they know what it takes to attract a person. They know what it takes. But that's just the lure. That's just an outside facade. And I don't get it. Why Why not just be real? Why not be who you are? If you're a trifle at mess, be a, be a trifle at mess all the way around. Or if you can don yourself that way, why don't you clean your house the same way and clean the inside of your car the same way? Why not that be teethered to your entire persona? But these are the people we encounter often and we don't even know it so i need y'all to help me out with that answer of course because i don't get it but on another note of that be aware of the people who you're around and that you know of because uh looks are very deceiving and these people are dirty as hell you wouldn't even want to and you shake these people's hand and don't even realize that <laughs> their bathroom you see bacteria and sicknesses and diseases are created by the common human because they are nasty as hell. They don't clean themselves. And then they was talking about the pandemic and how this, this cocoa bean virus got spread around because of trifling people like these where they can simply wash their hands, but their house is a trash heap. That's a bundle of bacteria and sicknesses there where they don't know what surface have any type of new virus or, or outbreak possibility. And they sit down there, they cook there, and then they come and they put on these, these classy, somewhat clean clothes from this dirty, dirty ass closet and meet you and greet you. And they out there in a the public area, shaking hands and all in your face and smiling. You think they're a cool person, but they are a dog. They are a human dog. Cause if you leave a dog to their own devices, that dog's going to that dog's going to take a crap everywhere and it's going to smell like dog in the house and dog ain't going to wash itself. I'm just jumping upon toilet paper all over the place. That's what people are like, but they're in your face smiling. This is why I, I tell you often wash your hands. Be careful who you talk to. Just looks are quite deceiving. And oftentimes when you meet a genuine person, they look clean. Their house is clean and their car is clean. Then they might be an honest person. But if they look clean, their house is dirty. Their car is dirty. They're not an honest person. You see how that works? They're honest because that's who they are. They are clean. They are OCD. Their floors are vacuumed. Their walls and their mirrors are clean and their windows are washed. They don't. The, everything is organized in their home. Everything is organized in the car. It smells like a good, you know, a car scent. You know, got little tree hanging there, and the seats are cleaned and and uh, uh, armoured up and waxed. Then they're dressed like that. You see, then you might be dealing with somebody whose mind and life is in the right in the right place. But if there's anything missing, car's dirty, house is clean though, and 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 she seems to be okay. She has a priorities and a different perspective. Still, I wouldn't trust that person because why don't you clean your, your, your damn car? It needs to be clean, too. 
You got to sit in that mess. Steering real sticky. Look like somebody didn't pour it like purple grape jelly all over the steering wheel and you touch it and it's all just nasty could you imagine sitting in somebody's car supposed to be leather or pleather and you see all kind of sticky stuff everywhere be like dude you don't wash it you don't realize this stuff is nasty it's sticky so it's all sorts of bacteria sitting on that i'm not trying to gross y'all out i'm not y'all been in situations like this before windshield got fingerprints all over and they don't even have children and then you wonder, do you see this? A lot of times they don't because most people don't see the filth that they in. Because they're filthy themselves and they're not honest with themselves. They just floating through life. So I'm not going to go on a rant with that. It's a simple question. Whatever you what do you think? Put it on the comment box. Let other people look at this and maybe you've experienced it. Maybe it could be you, Mr. or Mrs. Trifling One. Take your butt in the bathroom, wash your hand and your house and your car. Get it together. Get it together. That's what you need to do. Get it together. Because you are a walking biological weapon. Fix yourself if that's you. But if you experience someone with this situation, the psychology is deep, man. That's who they are. They're liars. They're filthy. And their life is unorganized and it shows. That's a really big sign right there. The worst is when they dress up well, but yet their house and their car is dirty. That's the worst because you really can't trust that person. That means all they're trying to do is portray what they want you to see. But if you really get to know them, Lord have mercy. Just don't listen. Ladies and gentlemen, you, you got to me. See, this is why it's I'm not going to go in depth of this. It's vitally important when I meet my girls, not my girls I have right now, but years ago. I needed to see them. I needed to see how they lived. I needed to see their car before I donkey dunked with them because I wasn't going to risk donkey dunk with this girl who looked good and her house and her car is a rat pack heap because that can be a clear sign that she don't really care about herself. She's probably not clean below. And she probably has such a nasty, filthy, loose life where she's probably having unprotected lingo with other guys that I don't want to partake in because I don't go that route. But I wouldn't know that if I take her from face value. And a lot of women, y'all don't get this too. You need to do it as well. But a lot of you just don't care because you're too scared, too worried. Oh my God, he's going to hurt me. Woman, check out his house in his car. It is important for you. You want this guy to put his vanilla sausage inside you and that little rubber piece might break. The conduct might break on you and you got an oop situation or an itchy situation or you growing cauliflower down there. and You don't even know why, because you was a dummy. Huh? You was a dummy. You got to evaluate that person and see how they live before you get yourself biologically connected with them, because when you touch people, there's biological fluid that's going to be exchanged and sometimes by accident. Or you may like this person so much where you just want to kiss them from head to toe. And you, oh God, just thinking about that. Just, oh, you, you would do that and you don't, oh man. And their house floor got all kind of, no, no, ma'am, no. Then you want them to go down and, and, and give you, eat your box and all. What kind of mess? But you don't even know how this dude lives. He probably don't even change his boxers. He probably got the same old boxers for three weeks. You know, one pair of shoes, two pairs of boxers, and just and you go into his house, dogs all over the place. Don't even walk the dog out, smudges of, of crap in the corner. And you want this guy to be with you. And then he oops, condom breaks. And you find yourself in in the uh you know in the clinic. So it's vitally important. But a lot of women are like, I'm not going to go over his house because he's going to expect for us to do something. Well, dummy, you don't do it. You won't know the guy. And what happened is he ended up hurting you in another way where you least expect it because you're too scared. I'm not going to go over this man's house. Well, if you do, you need to look how this man is living. That's what you, it's not a part. See, sometimes things are a little bit 
more important than your fear. You got to take the risk to see. You got to take a chance to see what's going on because that's your future. You got to let him look around in his car. Check out his car. Look at the floor. Look underneath his nails. Look at everything in the back seat. Look, if you got some dirty clothes stashed somewhere, then when you go in the house, say, I'm not going to go in there. I need something to drink. Can I go to the bathroom? Can I can I go to the bathroom just to see his house? Yeah. Um. Let's just go past your house. I want something to drink real quick. Do you got some water on the inside? And then purposely make some type of excuse to get inside of his house to see how this dude lives. Look at his couches. Look at his floor. Look at his TV. Check him out because it all has to line up. He got to be clean on the on his body. His house got to be in order and organized and his car. Then maybe you might be dealing with the honest guy. Now, there's still a chance he could be dishonest and a wrong, but at least you increase the chances that he might have the potential to be OK for you. Because chances is if his house is clean, his car is clean, his body might be clean as well. So if you have a oops situation, you may not have too much to worry about. He may not give you itchy scratchy because he don't want it itchy scratchy himself. But in reverse, again, let's go back to the FEMA. If her car is trashy, if her house is trashy, once again, for the guy, and she may look good, nice tight dress on, you know, beautiful looking heart shape, but most likely she don't care about her body either. Most likely she got an itchy scratchy situation. Most likely she has a virus bacteria buildup that's going to destroy his life one way or the other so pregnant me please condom breaks oops goodbye game over Doo-doo. you got y'all have to take your time and just evaluate this stuff but anyhow i went on the rant there you tell me what you think put that on the comment box let people see this i mean it, it you say why is it important because it's still happening I just left from a person's house and I'm getting ready to take a bleach bath. I'm getting ready to take a bleach bath. And I'm going to have my girls put some Epsom salt and everything. They're going to take care of me. I'm not worried about it because we already talked about the situation. I'm not worried about it. They got it right. You know, they already got everything prepared. I'm going to take my shoes and throw them away and buy some new ones. Because I don't play that type of game because people are sick. And it's still happening. You would think now here's the kicker and I'm gonna get off of it. You would think the uh, what was that post pandemic or something like that? Pre pandemic, whatever. Interim. You would think that the pandemic would have scared people to be clean. That's what you would think. You would think most people just really sanitize everything. And I'm going to start fresh. I'm going to throw out everything. I'm going to bleach stuff. I'm going to spray down. I'm going to clean my windows. I'm going to clean my dishes. I'm going to make sure that everything is great. No. They are still as nasty as hell. They are still dirty. The problem is you got dirty people. I don't blame the pandemic or this sickness thing. I blame people for being so trifling and nasty. And I'm wise not to touch anything. When I go anybody houses, I'm standing straight outside the door. I'm at the door. You, you want to sit down? No, I'm okay. I'm used to standing up. Well, you know, I got some. You want something to drink? No. Hip, no. No, keep your drinks to yourself. I don't even want your water. I don't drink your type of water anyway. I don't want your nasty cup. Know where your cup is. Well, you know, we got glasses. You know, we got styrofoam. We got plastic cups. I don't want your hands on my stuff. I'm good. I'm lubricated and hydrated. Don't need your trifling sickness. Keep it to yourself. And these people you would never know. These are everyday people around you, ladies and gentlemen, looking all nice, a little bit of cologne and hair are shaved and everything. Latest clothing. I think, oh, boy, this, this, this person got it. They got it taken care of. No, they don't. Check them out. You know, some of these girls, they're just, some of y'all girls, Y'all say something like, well, you know, I just want him to take me out to eat. I love a foodie date. We hang out. I don't have to see his house no time soon. We're just going to just kick it for a little while. I'm not going to take him serious. Well, if you're doing that, you need to look at what type of dude you're dealing with. You need to investigate. And I'm not talking about going on Google and online. Let me see what his Instagram is. That's stupid stuff because they're not going to show you anything. They're not going to show you their real life on Instagram and social media, dummy. Hey, dummy. Dummy. Hey, you. 
they're not going to show you everything on social media because they know it's going to turn you off. You understand? They're going to show you what they want you to see. So you got to physically investigate. Go over there. Get your lazy butt off the chair and your scared mindset. Oh, somebody's going to hurt me. Nobody wants you because you're too ugly. So stop. You're not special. Take your butt over there to his house and look at how he's living. You can find a way to get in his house. You can make up any kind of excuse and stories. You know, I need to wash my hands. <laughs> oh, I spilled some water on my dress. Yeah, y'all don't wear dresses. Oops, pants. Uh, pff, yeah. I spilled some water on my pants. Oh, uh, I broke a nail. Oh, my God, I need some. Do yeah, you have a Band-Aid inside your house? Oh, okay, I've got a bit. Look at, and then you just purposely get out of the car with them. Where are you going? I just, yeah, I'm going to walk up there with you. I'm going to in the car today. I need to stretch my legs. Any type of excuse to walk up there look at his house everything bedroom and stuff he might be hiding something what is this over here in the corner oh, you don't worry about it. it's just a pile of uh clothes do you ever wash your stuff oh you know once every year oh what what your clothes must what bed got all kind of stuff on it dogs what <laughs> haven't changed the kit the 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 the, the cat litter you know, you need to know this stuff because usually you can tell a person by how they live. You know, fear ain't going to do never hurt you. And you wonder why you wonder why there's plenty of more single women than there ever is in the history of America. Oh, I'm a boss, babe. I can get my own back. I can do everything I want to be. Yet y'all still want to date. But when you date, you date the type of guys who just want to play a game on you and show you a persona. And you think social media is everything. What do you hear about this this guy? Oh, well, you know, Instagram said this and he's he got, he got a blue check over here and he's type of guy. But you never went to his house. Never even been in his real car. It might be renting a car and you in a rented car. But if you see his real car, it's probably a trifling truck rusted up, nasty on the inside, seats all sticky and everything. You know, leftover lemon pills sitting there, sunflower seeds. You got to know this stuff. And when you do, you're like, uh, no, nah, I'm good. I'm good because you're letting this man into your body and into your life and probably going to destroy you at the same time. Same as a female works the same way. She'll do the same thing to you. You want her to cook you something, but she, oh man. <sighs> you know, oh, I love this girl. She knows how to cook. She's going to be cooking in her pig style at home, nasty dishes. You know, loose dogs. You know, you can smell the toilet in the kitchen. <laughs> you know, floor rugs ain't even sitting straight. And she just scrounges up something to, you know, some egg omelet or something like that to impress you or some type of, you know, blown you know, cold cut sandwich. You know, with some banana peppers and stuff sound real good, don't it? You know, a little bit of tomato here. There's some cheese and a provolone, whatever. And then give it to you in the pack. Here, I know how to cook. Here you go. I, you know, I just got to put this together because I know he's going to be hungry today for lunch. And I thought of just giving this to you. The woman just hands dirty. You don't even know where she got the food from. But you just say, oh, my God, she's a good woman. But the moment you go into her house and see where she cooked that, wait a minute. All these dishes everywhere. It looked like your cabinets are leaking. <laughs> your bed is on three legs. Some of them have no legs, just a mattress on the floor. You're like, oh my God, I ate her food. Yeah, be prepared for two months for that royal stomach ache that's going to come. And diarrhea. <laughs> because you're dumb. Y'all rushing as ignorant people and don't understand that social media is not everything. You got to physically meet these people because they're liars. They'll show you what they want you to see, but you need to be with them. Be like, hey, okay, I see this. Oh, okay, the floor's clean, walls clean. Okay, you got your utensils all organized. Okay, I get that. Books are stacked up and everything. Shoes in the right place. Clothes hung up like it's supposed to. Smell good in there like some incense and some some good fragrance. Candles are lit. You're like, okay, all right, I get it. This where you live at? Yeah, I own it or I rent it. The car? Yeah, I own it. Or it's being leased, you know, yeah, it's, my name is on, it, it's on the registration, this is on me. Okay, 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 I get it, I see. But anyway, rent is over. Tell me what you know, and uh, yeah, man, crazy. Well, there you go. If you experienced it, let the world know. Give your story. If I'm wrong, if I'm right, 
If I'm crazy, maybe I'm trifling. Nah, my girls wouldn't even let me do that. I, please. You know, even a, a little bitty flint, we got to vacuum that up. You know, we vacuum the whole floor of the one flint fall. So, I will, enough about me. Just let me know. And there you go. That's your lesson for today. Until next time.